We are today in the Atlas Cavern, one of the four detectors of the LHC machine at point one of the LHC ring, 100 meters below ground under Swiss territory. Behind me, the Atlas toroid magnet, one of its most massive components, 250 tons, is being moved to its final position. Atlas has a very complex uh, magnetic field configuration and in the four war regions, the magnetic field is provided by what we call an encapped toroid. It's a cryogenic vessel which contains eight superconducting coils, which is working at four Kelvin, and uh, is now in the process to be moved inside in its final position. So the movement is uh, controlled by a system of air pads, which carries this uh, 400 tons of magnets on a special setup of rails that we call uh, trucks. We are really closing the, the detector. This is the last operation on what we call the barrel part, so the inside of Atlas. So what is very delicate here is that we are moving this object, which is cold, so all the cryogenic, all the vacuum, all the services is attached while we are closing. So the, the operation is quite delicate. Là, les mouvements se font à une vitesse d'environ 2 à 3 mm par seconde. Ce qui fait qu'une opération comme ça, incluant un petit peu des travaux de préparation, on arrive à faire à peu près les 5,40 m de l'opération sur une demi-journée. The Atlas detector is completely closed up and the physicists from the collaboration, a week later, are in the control room behind me looking at data on their terminals. But if the LHC beam is only due by the end of the year, where are the particles coming from now in the middle of summer? Let's go inside and find out. And here we make use of having um, particles always coming from the cosmos. Cosmic muons, this is just natural particles which come from the universe, react with the upper part of the atmosphere and then nicely produce a type of particle which is charged and which goes up to the uh, surface and which we then use to detect in our detector. It allows us to do calibrations to study how the detector works and with this we can do a lot of studies already before we see the first collisions in the accelerator in the LHC. Of course people wonder how the difference is from the data we take now and from the data we will be taking in some time from now with the beams. Um, the main difference of course is the direction. At the moment we have particles which come vertically, they come from the sky, while the collisions we will have two colliding beams horizontally. And of course the type of data is different. At the moment we have one type of particle, muons mainly, while later on we will have a whole bunch of different types of particles. So. A lot is different for the whole experiment, but if you go to the individual detector and study the performance, see some tracks, some trajectories particles make when they traverse the detector, um, you can use the particles we have now to a very good, good thing. I think it's very exciting now because now the last year we fixed a lot of things, we completed the commissioning of the detector and now it's essentially the first time this year we bring the whole detector back together and you see from the activities, the number of people here in the control room, that it is a very tense and intense time. <laughs> 